Hi, I'm Dominique Baker. I'm Giovanni Glover. And we are here at the 18th annual A New Way of Life Gala, where the theme is passing the torch, reigniting the spirit of leadership. And we have the pleasure today of honoring Ms. Susan Burton, founder of New Way of Life, in addition to honoring members of New Way of Life Reentry Program and members of the community who have gone above and beyond the call of duty to help these women regain their lives. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Yeah, me too, me too. Stay tuned for our red carpet interviews as well as behind the scenes features. Hi, my name is Rosa Valeno. I am here with Michelle Alexander, the author of the new Jim Crow. Now she is building a movement that Emma knows so much about. We're actually here at the 18th annual gala. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Hi. So we are with Young Voices Making Choices, and we wanted to ask you a couple of questions. One of them is in regards to um, how do you feel like millennials? How do you feel like millennials can make an impact um, and make a change? Uh, because obviously we are the future. How do you think that we can make a change? Um, in regards to the Jim Crow movement and, and things of that nature? Well, young people have always been at the forefront of the most courageous movements for social and racial justice here in the United States and around the world. And so there's no small burden on your shoulders in this time, uh, in this era of mass incarceration, as well as an era of mass deportation, a time of mass criminalization of poor people and people of color. It is essential for young people of all colors and backgrounds to find their voice, speak with courage, and rise to the challenge this moment presents. And that can mean all kinds of things. For Absolutely. artists, it means to find ways to use your art in service of the movement. For people who are aspiring lawyers, to figure out how you can do more than just make money for yourself. Absolutely. But ensure that you're using your skills as a lawyer in service of the movement and fighting for those who don't have access to justice. Absolutely. Um, but there's also also, I think a role that young folks can play in just waking folks up around them. There's no way that a movement, a truly transformational movement is possible if many of us, especially those most impacted, are asleep. Thank you so much. Thank you. For coming, Michelle Alexander. Yes. Young Voices Making Choices. This is Michelle Alexander, the author of The New Jim Crow, and I support Young Voices Making Choices. Check it out. They're about waking folks up and speaking the truth, a truth we all need to hear. Well, that's all, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you tune in this Sunday for Soul Food Sunday Live at 5 to get more Young Voices Making Choices. Thank you. Thanks.